All right, guys, hey, thanks for joining me. John Stevens, Maple Grove Farm. How you doing? Good morning. Yes, yes, good morning to you, buddy. <clears throat> Haven't seen you in like eight hours and you get so lonely, don't you? <laughs> Such a dark. So, <clears throat> the mighty 6300, the input shaft broke a little bit. Not sure what that's all about if the input transmission pump took a crap or what the heck is going on there um, it's not the worst job in the world all the wiring harness stays with it just unplug the harness from the frame you know your clutch pedal and your your SCV levers and your transmission levers get unhooked from the transmission in the rear end and a few cooler hydraulic cooler and return plumbing hoses um, get unhooked other than that this tire you spin around to be wide this tire we take off and there's two big pins on each side that go through the frame rail the steel frame rail into the differential housing and that's what holds your transmission and rear end and everything to the frame of the tractor so then the, the transmission housing, the differential, the three-point, your SCV stack, all that stuff just rolls out the back as one unit. Um, kind of a time-consuming job, but not the worst. It's actually not a bad deal. So, got the cooler's lines unhooked here, here, and then for there. This pressure hose is unhooked in the back. Got the clutch pedal unhooked the shift lines are unhooked down there and the electrical connector is unhooked and that electrical connector I don't know if it got burnt at one point um, but it just completely crumbled apart so I hope you guys are paying attention to how that pinned out because we might have an issue there um, but yeah so I think at this point in the <clears throat> SCVs are unhooked you saw that hoses are unhooked um, so at this point I think I'll flip this wheel over and take that wheel off and see how that goes All right, so the only thing I have left that I know of, I got the these mount bolts out and the hoist holding it up. Um, so I got the front drive shaft to drop and then start getting this stand underneath to hold the, the transmission. The wheels are holding the weight, but the transmission will just roll, you know, on the wheels, on the axle, just bunk. So I got to get this under the transmission. But at the same time, I got to get some jacks, get some jacks under the side frames or under the, the metal frame rail down underneath behind the fuel tank or something. Get something there figured out and, uh, and then roll it back. I don't know if I have enough room right to here. It might get kind of tight, but I should be able to get it back far enough that uh, that I can at least get the front of the transmission apart. Kind of a slick design. I mean, it just it just pancakes sections, you know. And so we just got to get these first couple off 
to see what the major problem is. <clears throat> so, well, time to go to work work, and we'll be back to the farm this afternoon. So what we got is there's four pins like this. And you can see the top one right here. And I'm, I'm rigged up on that bottom one. So you got that cup with just a simple threaded bolt that goes through it. I'm gonna say, if you're gonna do this on your own, when you order that puller from John Deere, I would get an extra bolt. For the different tractors, there's a deeper cup and a shallow cup. So I always start with the shallow one. Um, I don't know why, but <clears throat> then we weld it up inch and seven eighths, I believe box end to an old load shaft out of a 4020. So then you can put that on the bolt or the nut. Um, more times than not, you want to get the bolt all the way threaded in and use the nut to turn. So if you ruin anything, you ruin the bolt. You don't ruin the threads inside this pin. We've had some where you literally have this with a six or seven foot bar and all the movement you get is enough to change one, one click of the box end and that is extremely fine thread and it takes all day to get one pin out and uh, and like on this trap on this tractor I just put the air gun on there with the two jam nuts so the bolt is started in pretty good into the pin and then just brrr, thread it in till the bottoms out back it up adjust the bolt the jam nuts and then do it again and boom pins out <clears throat> But if they're if they're that tight on other tractors, oh my God, we've had them tight. So we'll whistle this one out, and we'll get these out and see how it goes. out adjust the pins and then adjust the lock washers or the uh, jam nuts <clears throat> and there we be victory is mine all right time for uh, morning chores <laughs> We'll take a short intermission and be right back. So it looks like something like that when it comes out. Zip these bolts out, drop the oil, or you know, drop the oil, move a few things here, zip these bolts out, and then this whole transmission assembly comes right out. We'll stand it up on the table and then just tear it from the top down. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so <clears throat> we're kind of backwards how we got it took a, taken apart here. <clears throat> this is the back side that goes against the gearbox. So that's the gearbox. This is the power shift unit. <clears throat> and this is the front cover with your transmission pump. And this would be the shaft coming out, you know. This cover would go on this end of the housing, but in the tractor it sits like that. This shaft is on the inside coming out. <clears throat> Here's the broken shaft and the hub that would sit there. And then your shaft from your flywheel hooks to this. <clears throat> we couldn't pull it out with magnets, this piece. So that's why we had to split the tractor to get this piece out, but since it's so welded in there, <clears throat> we might just have to get this new shaft. The pump and everything looks really good. And then we kind of inspected this, or not kind of, 
We don't have any suspicions in either gearbox. Everything rolls like it's supposed to roll. Everything turns normal. Same on here. We put the input shaft and kind of, you know, you can hear everything. You kind of see some gears in there. Everything feels really good and normal there. So I think at this point, it uh, <clears throat> we just got to get that new shaft. <clears throat> get this new shaft, this shaft, and then all your gaskets and uh, put it back together. But, so that's where we're at. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll go from there.